A man that does not have an erection could be a sign of heart attack coming. A man will continuously make testosterone. However, after the age of 40, you start losing an average of over 1% of your naturally producing testosterone. So some men gain weight. Some men start having large hip areas, start having women boobs, low energy, fatigue. But most importantly, that is now alarming. Most men start having power failures in the other room. I'm talking erectile dysfunction. And that is one of the cardinal symptoms of testosterone deficiency or what we call low testosterone, which is actually anthropos. Mood changes. Erectile dysfunction, we're talking inability to get an erection, inability to sustain the erection, or ejaculating quickly. Another major alarming thing that we see with the andropause or testosterone deficiency is increasing number of male infertility. The common ones are the opioids. Whether you broke an ankle, your knee, or you're working out and you need something for pain, Opioid has been correlated to affect your testosterone level. Some of the common blood pressure medications we use also affect your testosterone level and that will affect your performance in the bedroom. Let's get our adequate sleep. We're talking about quality of sleep and quantity of sleep. Six to eight hours of sleep a day. If you cannot get that, try and put in cat naps. Every now and then in the afternoon, 30 minutes there, 40 minutes there, that helps. Let's drink more and more water. Drink until your urine is clear. Your urine should not have any color and your urine should not form bubbles. Let's stay away from all these processed drinks, all this carbonated stuff. The one that is really pertinent to me is the type of food we eat. The heavy swallows. Eat them as late as two or three in the afternoon. It takes tremendous amount of blood flow and a lot of energy for you to digest it. Lastly, this should be our take home. Sitting is the new smoking. The longer you sit, your cardiac output, that's the amount of blood your heart pumps, gets reduced. We're talking the likes of 50% reduction in cardiac output. So, low testosterone, male infertility, waking up in the morning, not getting a good direction, these are just like having high blood pressure or having headaches. The treatments are out there. There should be no shame in this game because we know that the sooner you correct your testosterone level, the better you stay away from heart attack, the better you stay away from diabetes, the better you stay away from congestive heart failure, metabolic syndrome. There are some studies that says a man that does not have an erection could be a sign of heart attack coming. And that heart attack is not far away.